G'day, mate, and welcome back to Dyson's View with me, GD. Now, we've already had a lovely three-hour time-lapse story start off this episode because it's been asked many times, what is my goal for this series? Where are we going to call it in for this series? And I could build a giant Dyson's View, but we just don't need the power. I could go out and I could go and attempt to clear all the dark fog from all the systems, but I think I create the difficulty a little bit too hard for that to happen now. I could keep building and expanding until we completely run out of frames, but we're well on our way. So my plan always was to go beat up a level 100 hive, but we're we're not close. We're not close. There's still a lot we need to do. I hang on, hang on, hang on. Look, I'll introduce you in just a second. Okay. So today I want to talk about that objective, that goal, what we can do to sort of push along that goal and uh, what we can do in the meantime. So, before we get to any of that, I need to ask that very important question. The very important question before uh, the wonderful uh, Voltron goes and, you know, rushes me along anymore. And that is, well, can we borrow a like? I just like to borrow a like. I like to borrow a like before I tell you my stupid plan. Uh, that is, if you can spare the like. If you can't spare the like, I can understand it. But then again, Voltron, uh, the wonderful Voltron, he does need to, as many likes as he can get his hands on. All right. Today's plan. Today's plan is a simple plan. We have been sitting on this uh, planet for three hours. Yes, it was a three hour time lapse in three minutes. And these guys were all at level 56. They're now at level 57. They were just on 56. They're now just on. Oh my gosh. Lady, shut up. That does remind me. Uh, can I tell you to not shoot up at air? Because uh, I'm no longer AFK. Uh, you can also not shoot up at air. And you can not shoot up at air. Because if something lands near me, I'm going to end up removing it manually. Because I'm no longer idling. Alright, uh, thanks, thanks. Uh, yeah, uh, please tell me, like, the new update brought the new AI lady and, and your, your thoughts. I want to know what your thoughts are, because currently I can't stand up. Alright, so what I was saying is, oh, actually we've got some hitting level 58. So level 58 needs... 57 million experience to level up. Uh, where's my little pause? Uh, level 49 base. So my 49 base needed 30 million experience. That is 30 million, right? No, it's 3 million. 3 million experience to level up to uh, level 50. My level 58 base needs 5.7 million because the experience resets when they level up. So they need to do with that, all that again. So each time they level up, it costs more and more experience to get to the following level. Consequently, uh, I've done a couple of things. The first thing I've done is uh, gone into um, the mod settings and I sort of added a zero here because I wanted them to level up faster. In saying that it took them three hours to go up, we'll call it two levels. We'll, we'll, we'll say that they went from 56 to 58. That's an awful long time to go up one level. And if we just check our stats for combat, local planet for the last hour, my losses are, well, we'll call it two, three, four, five. Five signal towers. I have lost a number of drones, but I think we're winning this battle on an overall losses scale. Yeah, I think we're doing all right. Um, if we go to 10 hours, well, there's hives and stuff we beat up, but, um, there's an awful lot of these vehicles over the last couple of hours. Yep. And then I've lost some odds and ends when we were trying to recolonize the farm. But now that we're here, you know, it's been very, very, very stable. So for me to level up the farm, I got a couple of choices. Uh, one, I could, um, well, wait. And that is a valid choice. We could just sit here. We could do another, I don't know, 12, 24, 48 time lapse. I could put Dyson Sphere on my other computer and which is my old computer, it's a little bit older, it's a little bit slower, I just have it run Dyson Sphere for a week straight. And I could add a mod that's gonna do auto research because I'm gonna need to keep spending the research points because I'm gonna have to keep leveling up my stuff as well. Uh, the problem is, well, it's gonna pick whichever research happens to be the cheapest. In our case, the cheapest research happens to be Vein utilization, not 40. Uh, it happens to be ray transmission efficiency unlocks, which um, we are losing less than 2% on our ray receivers. I don't really care to do that research. Uh, the other research that's dirt cheap is research speed, which just cuts down the number of labs that I need. I've already built enough labs to do the research I have. So again, this research doesn't really help me and it does get expensive very quickly and it's a waste of research points. So I could do that, perfectly valid. We could do that, not an issue. My other option is we could um, try and build a little bit closer up to some of the friends to try and aggravate them into a constant attack state, which is what I want to attempt to do. 
So uh, we're going to turn on lights. So turn on the lights. There we go. Uh, so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to be dragging a belt of ammo out of this mess somehow out through here. And we're just going to expand a little bit. I'm expecting what we build is probably going to end up getting lost. Um, I don't think it will last long term. But I'm hoping it lasts for a little while. Uh, can I bring this up to height two, height three, height four, height four? Uh, okay, in that case, can we remove that? Uh, can we go two tiles, then height four? Yep. Not quite. Okay, can I go higher? Not quite. We're clipping the laser towers. I sort of built this as compact as I could. Can I go that way? No. Okay. I don't really want to remove a laser. Uh, okay, can we come to there? And then we're just going to go straight up. We're just going to go straight up so I can get out of this mess. Okay, that's a bit too much straight up, but I, I, I like your ideas. Okay, so this is the tile that's going to give me hell. We need to clear that. And then clear this laser. Uh, no, now the signal tower's in the way. No, no, there we go. Okay, we get down to the ground. Okay, once we're down to the ground, we're gonna grab artillery. And we're just going to, well, add artillery to all the problems. Uh, can I get power in there? No. Uh, okay, can I remove you, you, and you? We could put power here. Okay. Maybe I can make that belt look slightly less stupid then. Artillery in front of power. There. Okay. Can I get that belt to come... Forward one tile. Forward another tile. Here. Okay, you can go to there. Alright. Cool. That gets our shells out. Mineral depleted. Cool. Because farm-wise, I don't need the materials anymore. We're definitely past the point of needing materials. Uh, can I bring that to this hub? And then... You need one more tile, do you? Artillery. Okay, artillery goes there. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to grab a power. Uh, we're going to put a power in front of this guy. We're going to put an artillery in front of the power. And then I'm going to grab our belt from here and drag it to there. Cool. Then we're just going to line the place with artillery because I didn't go over the production stats. Uh, but we're not exactly spending a whole lot of artillery shells. Uh, can I drag that that way instead? Uh, can I get production stats? Um, number three? Nope. Number two? Nope. Number one? Nope. Okay, it's not on the favorite. Oh, we're on the kill stats. Um, production. Yeah, we're using 10 artillery shells per minute. Um, yeah, we're not really going through artillery shells like there's no tomorrow. Really? You, you, you can face the other way and fit? Fine, you can face the other way. All right, uh, same time, we're going to grab one of these guys. We're going to throw Babs in basically wherever we can. Uh, we're not going to make this expansion complicated at all. We are just trying to, well, defend everything as best as we can and move towards the friends. Yep. Yeah. Right, can I now move you there? There is no way I can fit in Babs and Power. Okay, I didn't think that part through. 
All right, that's fine. We'll put Babs in front. Uh, can I bring this through to here? Uh, can I put a power in front of you? And then an artillery in front of the power. And then that belt goes into there. Cool. Now we got that goal uh, aligned. We're going to fill the place full of artillery. Cool. Uh, power here. Here. Flight mode. Yeah, flight mode. Yeah, I like it. The lady, the lady doesn't shut up. Can we get one of them? Uh, we'll put one of them here. One of them here. Uh, no, you're in the wrong spot. I need to put in the artillery first, the power, uh, the bab second. Okay, there and there, and remove you. But we're gonna run that through to about here. Uh, can I put in a bab here and here? Now I'm copying these babs because these are set to don't pick up. Uh, Well, they're technically set to pick up. Okay. Uh, and they're priority balanced, but realistically, there's nothing for them to build. So it doesn't matter whether they're prioritized, balanced or not. But if they don't need to pick up, maybe that saves me some processing power. Because yes, I am still running at like 20 frames per second. Um, the game is struggling just a little bit. Okay, we can drag those out, go through our power here and here and here and then can i put a power in front of this guy and then another artillery in front of this guy and we're gonna drag that to there and then can we come down here so i can get this corner built as well and then we're just gonna put a whole bunch of babs in front of this stuff um there and there and there. The idea is we're just going to fortify everything as best as possible. Uh, because, well, I'm also going to do a horrible thing, which is going to be a bad idea. And I know it's going to be a bad idea, but we're going to do it anyway. And that is, um, I want to extend my little base to, well, right in front of the friends' bases. Like, right in front of it. Like, as close as possible. Uh, can I... Oh. No, because you're sticking out by a tile. Uh, can I take this through to that line? Great. And then we can grab artillery and we can go from here to... Well, I'd love you to do the corner like that, but the game says no. Great. Uh, can I put one of these here and here and here? A landing relay station detected. Oh, really? That's super helpful. And it's coming here. Well, cool. I like my friends. Uh, can I grab a bab? Uh, we're going to put a bab here and here and here with power there, power there, power here, power here, and lack of item. Uh, I think you lied to me. Oh, there we go. Many items. Okay. Can I put one more artillery in? No. That's unfortunate. All right. So, we've extended the whole system out. We've given ourselves just a little bit more room to expand, and more importantly, more artillery to shoot at the same time. Uh, that's the real key thing. Really? Sort of expecting to get one more in here. That's fine, I guess. Okay, so, uh, a little bit more room for more artillery. More artillery means more guns shooting at the same time, which means less losses. Uh, that's really what I, all I'm aiming for. So, I want to put you here. I want to put you here uh i'm gonna flip you around enough times that i can then drag this this way uh yes we're still using babs as walls uh even though and i'll show you in just a second uh the ridiculous amount of hit points that most of our buildings now have um okay bab to here can i get you placed uh can I put a power? No? 
glide, glide, glide. That's why. Move that to there, move that to there, and we'll put a redundant power there. And whatever we shot at is vaporized. Okay, too close, too close. We can go here then. And same story, we're just gonna drag this out this way. And then come to this corner, and I need a substation there with a flattened place. Oh. That tile, that tile, that tile. Okay. And. Eh. If I do this corner, we can maybe fix the other corner. Well, they're facing the wrong way. Okay. Go away, 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 and go away. Yeah. Uh, the game definitely feels uh, unhappy. Unhappy with what I'm doing to it. Uh, maybe that's inaccurate. Maybe my processor feels unhappy with what I'm doing to it. That's probably more accurate. All right, that'll do us. Uh, building destroyed. Is it on this planet? It is. So a bab got taken out already. Uh, maybe we just don't have that bad. Okay, so our plan is to give myself a little bit of a larger front. Larger front means more cannons. More cannons means more more bullets in the air at the same time. It does mean we're probably going to spend more shells, but realistically, shells at this point are not really my issue. Uh, oh, you're going to get deleted. All right, so that's step number one. Step number two is I'm thinking this base right here would really like an artillery about here. Uh, just to make sure it's constantly unhappy with us, which should bring constant attacks in, which is why I want a larger footprint. Larger footprint means, like I said, more shells in the air at the same time. But our biggest thing we are we, we have is um, hit points. Okay. Now I've done an awful lot of research. If we look at the tech tree and we look at this one, we're all, we've done level twenty. Our next one's level twenty-one, which is one hundred and fifty-two thousand white science. If we look at combat, does this tell me? Durability coefficient is a plus 80%. Now, each one of these does just 4%. So obviously I've done 20 levels, uh, which is a little bit expensive. But it also means that if we look at something like a BAB, the BABs we've been using as walls for the whole game because they had 750 hit points. They actually have a lot of hit points compared to a lot of other buildings. But I've given them a bonus 600 hit points. And we already had one destroyed because they take a pounding. They absolutely take a pounding and they take a pounding in a hurry. Uh, these little guys do an awful lot of damage. If I... Let's pick the ground ones. Um, the Raiders on the ground. They do 81 damage. Uh, the Rangers in the air, they do 40 damage, but they fire more often. And the Guardians do 134 damage. And they come in in packs and go and sit on top of buildings and just blast down from the sky which means things don't last long when you're, they're dealing with Guardians. Also, uh, we put in uh, interstellar logistics stations as corner posts, I guess. And um, they have 9,000 hit points. And prior to doing, well, extending out the walls, I would regularly see these go down to two bars worth of health, which means, well, two sevenths of their health, no, five sevenths of their health have been, has been removed. Or are they fifths? I can't remember if the bar, the health bar's in fifths or sevenths. Whatever. They get down to about two or three thousand hit points and have an awful lot of bots trying to repair them at the same time. And they wouldn't always survive. So what I want to do is I like I said, I want to go and aggravate this base. Now, if we aggravate a base constantly, it should increase their aggro. Uh, which should increase um how happy they are with us which should, if all goes to plan, uh, well, convince them to level up in a hurry. Uh, and is that just south of their border? Uh, I'm going to have one artillery. I'm going to have a bam. I'm going to have a second artillery. No, that's 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 the path we need to take. Okay. So I'm going to bring this out here. Uh, in fact, I'm going to bring this all the way through to... Can I flatten that place? Uh, we're going to bring that all the way up to far too close. Okay, I want artillery. I want to be able to sit at about this. So just before the coal marker. Uh, so I'm going to put a 
No, I need another belt going this way. Okay, then we're going to put an artillery. So this is going to be our step number... Nope, artillery. Step number one, artillery. Okay, step number two is going to be some sorters. I want to have a sorter going that way, and I want to have a sorter going that way. Okay, step number three is going to be power. Uh, obviously, we need power to run different things. We're going to put a power in here. I'm going to give you a friend, and then I want to fab hard up, up, up against your friend. Uh, so there. Okay, power can go up a tile. And then I want to flip you around, and I want to put you back to back. There. Okay, so our plan is to run that into there, that into there, and bring that out to here as well. Okay, so with the plan underway, uh, we're going to have power, fab. Power. Bab. Artillery. Destroyed. Yeah, just vaporized. Absolutely vaporized. The Babs don't even get a chance to think about repairing themselves. Building They're just destroyed. dead instantly. Uh, oh my god, lady. Thank you for all this helpful information. Okay. Uh, power. Mm, bad. Uh, okay, they are my belts. Thanks. Okay. Ah, uh, nope. The belts. Are... Okay. Okay, you can. We'll, we'll keep that. You done? Guys, you literally flew too close to a sun or an aggravated base. Thanks, guys. Here I was trying to build calmly. Okay. Uh, so I want artillery. I think that's the correct direction. Uh, I want artillery. Yep, out to there. Uh, then we want another power. And then another bab. And then we want Babs on this side, out to here. And then I want Babs on, Oop. Lack of item, oh okay, lack of item we can do something about. Uh, can I get 50 more of those? And there, and there. Can I put another artillery here, and here, and one there, and one there. I'm going to get a fab here and a fab here, maybe safe. Uh, power, fab. Okay, can I step back a little bit? Building destroyed. Okay, that one has to go away. That has to go away. That has to go away. Yeah. Yeah, you, you can see the issue. We literally have hundreds of heat points here. Thousands even. And things just get vaporized. Uh, can it land? Okay. Can, can you guys go away? Okay, so the towers are not aiming at our units, at our artillery. It's just the units firing at us. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Uh, except that everything's disappearing. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to put in one of these at 9,000 hit points. Uh, can I remove that power? Yeah, that also vaporized. Okay, uh, can I remove that and that? And we'll just take that bit of belt. And can I rotate the camera, please? And that bit of belt. And we will put in 
one of these in the center. And then I'll put one too close, too close here. And then I'll also put one here. Building destroyed. Oh. Right, each one of these bams is at maximum charge rate. And the bots are on recharge. Uh, are on recharge, on repair. Um, okay, can I put you back a little bit further? Right, I want you to take damage, but also I want you to survive. Okay. It is forcing attacks to come in non-stop. It is forcing us to level up non-stop. Uh, it's definitely doing something. That's confirmed. But like, again, uh, the, the, the hit point, they're just gone. Gone. Uh, transportation. Uh, how many hit points do you have? You only have 5,000. So there's no point putting in these guys because they have less hit points. Uh, okay. You are just not going to work there. Uh, you're also not going to work. You're now the new target. And now they're taking out the front. Repeatedly. Um. Yeah. Okay. Alright. New, new plan. New, new, new plan. Uh, they took out one bab over here. Uh, do I not have babs on me? I don't really have babs on me. Can I dump those in there? Can I grab me 170 babs, please? Okay. New, new plan. Okay. New, new plan is more artillery makes it better. Uh, so, we're going to have... Can I get a belt out here? No. Uh, can I get a belt out here? Yes. Okay. We're going to have new, new artillery. Uh, here. And we're just going to run you guys straight forward through to that spot. Okay. We're going to connect you to there. I'm going to put in another sorter. To empty that belt. We're going to take this and we're going to run that to there. Okay. You all should have power. You all should have shells. You all should be able to fire. Uh, my power doesn't reach far enough for me to put in another row of bams on the outside of this, but I can definitely put in power. Mineral depleted. Bab. Power. If I put a power, bab, power, that should give me plenty of redundancy, like an awful lot of redundancy. Because uh, these will, if one of these uh, substations goes, it'll just power over its top. Well, over the, it'll skip one without a problem. Uh, we might just put another one here. Can I put another, another one? I know it's really getting in their face, but uh, no, you can't. JD is no power. Okay. Can I put one more subby? And then another one of these. Okay. Can I do the same over here? Can we bring out uh, from here to here to here? Where does our slurry go? Our slurry lives in this tile. I'm just going to drag that straight out and grab a sorter from there to there. And then drag that directly to there. Yep, the M one's gone. It's fine. All right, can I copy this little combination and paste that little combination over here? Yeah. So even more artillery, like all the artillery. Okay, new question. Can I put in a cannon 
Specialize with objects. Uh, can I move that bab back slightly? No. Alright, in that case, can I put a cannon... Row of cannons like that. I'm going to take this belt and run it through those. They're not powered. They're, they're, they're artillery. Their base defenses are not powered up. So high energy dead. Uh, high energy laser tower is not aiming at me. So that means I'm not close enough that I'm aggroing it. But I am hitting a lot of their base with splash, which is making them awfully happy to see me. Awfully happy. Uh, level durability. Your durability is maxed out, maxed out, so I'm not actually damaging the main base. I don't want to damage the main base. I don't want the main base to take any damage. I just want to have the attacks constant. And that seems to be what we have right now. Okay. So with you guys having constant attacks and having a whole bunch of fun, uh, this corner didn't do so well. So we need to come over here and fix this again. Uh, can I put another corner post in? And I'm out of artillery. Uh, do we, we don't actually import artillery. Okay, can I import, so well, I've got 250 on me, Never mind. Okay, is that enough to force them to level up? So we, went, we started the episode with 61, we're now 62. Uh, there's another building destroyed. Okay. Don't care. Building destroyed 99 plus. Thanks, that's super helpful. Uh, You're saying this bab got destroyed. What's well, been rebuilt? So stop telling me about it. Okay. Can I then put a corner post in here then? Collides. Yes, I can put a corner post right there. Like it doesn't even technically need power. It just needs to sit there and absorb hits. Okay. Can I enable these guys again? Because if they can help, they can help. Uh, we've lost two babs here. This corner's fine. So can I get another corner post? And we might accept that bab doesn't come back and instead put a corner post right there. Can I come over here? But we have a lot more firepower than we started. Oh boy, do we have a lot more firepower. Uh, 10 minutes. Hey, another upgrade. Uh, we're now going through 100 artillery shells per minute. And just importantly, uh, the way we'd see whether we're under constant attacks is... That's a ranger. You. Uh, so Raider Camp, you are currently turbocharging. So you are currently spitting out units as fast as possible. And it says 20 seconds, then it says 60 seconds, then it says 20 seconds, which means you are just constantly pouring out units. You're never going to stop. Uh, you, this ranger camp, a uh, raider camp, rather, rather, same story. 20, 20, 20, it's 60, 20. Station okay, there's that. Also coming in. Uh... That guy. From Snakey. Uh, fun. Fun, 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 fun. I don't know where fun is. Uh, fun has a C. Oh boy. Uh, that's a 600 meters save. Okay, so you get a little bit of warning when seeds are coming in. That's sort of a nice to know. Uh, also, I don't care. As for this one, uh, you're about to land from above us. Building destroyed. And you're gonna lock onto this base. 
So, uh, can I pause real quick? Okay. So you're a level 63. Uh, you are a level 63 relay. Uh, this base over here is a level 63. Everybody seems to be a level 63 at this stage. Notice how the frame rate speeds up as soon as I hit the pause button and the game stops processing. It's awesome like that. Unpause and it's like, oh yeah, frames. Oh, ow. Yep. Okay. Uh, so you're going to connect into there, which then means you're going to power back up, which will be even more friends arriving more often. Uh, well, that's on that side, so that should be all right. Um, okay, we can close that. So we lost, it says two, but it's only highlighting one building. If I delete that, it still says two and only highlights one building. Okay. Ideally, I'd prefer to have that there than not have it. Okay. And this base is just constantly pissed off. Like, non-stop. Which technically means everybody else on the planet is also constantly pissed off. Um, and will never, ever, ever, ever stop being pissed off. Which does mean we are going to level up fast. Now, is this enough? Yeah. Is this enough to get us to level 99, 100? I, I honestly have no idea. Um, will it survive is the other question. Because now that the... Now that I've increased this by tenfold what we had previously, they're now going to level up ten times as fast. Now they're under constant attacks, it's going to be even faster than that. But with them leveling up so much faster, my research... Oop. My number three... Uh, entire star cluster. My research, which is slowed down because the this research is slow. I think this is slow research. Yeah, this one's a slow research. Uh, one hour. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my sl research is slowed down. Uh, and what I mean slow research, I should explain that. So this is 136,000 uh, research, but also requires 100, uh, 172,000 hashes. Whereas if we go to communication control, it's 162,000. So it's uh, more expensive white cubes, uh, but has 145 million hashes. So less hashes, which is how fast we're going to process the science. Uh, our hash rate is, does it tell us? Uh, research speed, 400%. No. Our research speed is from memory 360 hashes per second. Uh, so each of our labs can do that hash rate per second. But it does mean if we hit some of the slower researchers, i.e. Mechicore energy circuit. Uh, so we're looking for 170. Um, so we make a core, it'll be drive engine, 54 million hashes. So you're a faster research. Uh, 140 million at 150. Uh, you are 36, 32, so it's a one to one. You're a one to one, and this is a higher than one um no uh no uh logistics engine core no vein utilization no there's not that many of them uh combat drone no enhanced structure no maybe mecha core is the only one i thought there were two 632 156, 140, 150, 54. Uh, so that requires a lot of hashes. That let us actually burn through science faster. Um, no, no, no. No. Okay, so it is maybe probably only Megagore. Megagore, I think, might be the only research where the hash rate is higher than the number of cubes. Therefore, it slows down their whole overall research. And one of the ways I could mitigate that was do would would be do five levels of this. But again, if I do five levels of that, um, it's going to well, waste a whole bunch of science. But I think... Goodness, right. Which building? That's oh, rebuilt. So, no building. Uh, yeah, I think... What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this video here. I'm going to leave this episode here. 
I'm going to leave uh, this Voltron uh, right here in the middle. Uh, land. Turn off. Turn on. With my ships out. And I'm going to leave the game running. I'm going to see what happens. Because like I said, I'd really like to get to level 100. I'd really like to fight a level 100 hive. 100 is the highest the game can handle currently. Like there is going to be an update. I don't know when the update is, but there is going to be an update. Devs already said there'll be an update with more and improved space combat along with... Um, so they said there'll be more space combat. There'll be more space... Um, interactions between you and the hive and they also announce engines when it comes to space i don't know what an engine in space means i don't know if that means we're gonna have like teleportation rather than flying faster than light we can put in stargates and ship things via stargates and maybe stargates is something that the dark fog will actually attack in space because currently well out in space uh they don't attack our logistics festivals thank gosh but they also don't ac attack gas giants so this is why early on I went and tapped so many gas giants because it's completely immune to the dark fog. They don't bother. Oh, they also announced space stations. Yeah, space stations has got me curious. But that's a lot of future updates. Not here now. And I don't expect that anytime soon. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to leave uh, combat here. I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to see how far we get and see if we're going to get to the magical level 100. Um, also, you know, what are your thoughts? If we can't get to level 100, what do I do? What do I do to sort of Call it into this series because we don't need a bigger sphere. I don't need more critical photons. I have thousands of them. Um, production stats, critical photons in this list. Yeah. Um, oh, look, there was a big demand. Supply wasn't touched because I just don't need them. Uh, AMA fuel rods, like we're burning through them currently. Strange annihilation. My production is still above my consumption. Like, these are. There's 11,000 of these things sitting here in, the, uh, in this tower. Uh, all the other belts are backed up. Like I, I, I physically removed one of our loot types from this tower because I just don't need, I don't need more loot. I don't need more power. I don't need more production. We're doing 8,000. Well, when we're on a decent research, we're doing 8,300 science per minute. So yeah, suggestions, suggestions. If, if we can't get to level 100, what would you like to see? What would you like to see to, um, we complete the series uh and dyson spheres we should mention you're still being built you are many 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 sales still to go uh ragger system is complete including it's no uh it still has a dark matter sphere going up which is going to take some time uh pride has its dark matter sphere up and running and well it's done. Uh, who else we have? Oh, Necker. Necker has its subscribe sphere going in slowly, which is this one right here. Uh, and again, it's just a lot of sales, an awful lot of sales to, to, to be installed. And I think we're attaching as fast as possible. I know there was a mistake that I did earlier where I put the wrong thing onto a juice belt that got fixed. So I oh, are not even in the Necker system. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I do need to leave this video here. So as always, Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. And I will see you in the next episode. I have no idea what the next episode beholds, but there'll be at least another episode. Anyway, that's it. We're out. See you next time. Bye.